Hey, what's happening with it, y'all? Man, it's your boy Gabe Knows Best, and as always, I'm glad y'all could join me. As y'all could tell right now, I'm on the test server because you're looking at John Stewart. John Stewart is not out on the game yet. He came out on the test server last Friday. I actually believe this is going to be a fan favorite with people because people love the Lantern Corps. Um, me, I'm not that much of a fan, but hey, if it's something that can make the game a little bit better, let's talk about it. So his combat ability is Hard Light Turret. Summons a turret that fires in a cone in front of it. Deals 448% damage. It does have a PI with it. Dazes enemies, making them vulnerable to dazes and effects. Um, for me, when I use my Green Lantern, it's, it's been years since I played on this. I've always used Grim to set up that PI for me. Less time playing around with other stuff. So its support ability is Corpse Combo. That's the one that I'm most interested in in the DPS stance. And it does have an intriguing support ability called Enduring Will. Using the group power shield ability replaces the shield with a stronger Green Lantern shield. Um, plus 35% health and increases your vitality for 12 seconds based on the number of allies shielded. So that's kind of intriguing. Um, I know not a lot of people are going to be having... I mean, allies at the same time. So that's that's kind of interesting why it wasn't based on players shielded instead of allies shielded. But, you know, let's check out the um, let's check out the combat ability. So we're going to call out John. Let's see what John hitting for. I do like the animation. It's pretty cool. So we got a smooth 1.1, but that was with the pet included. Um, next time, let's say I remove that pet for testing purposes. Let's take out Grim. That way, next time it's all it's all straightforward damage. So while we waiting for that to come back out, let's take a look at the combo that I'm going to be doing. Now again, I have not played Green Lantern, uh, Lan Light Power Set in years and years. So this is the combination I normally would run with. I'd start off with um, hand claps, do three hand claps into a grasp of hand, pull back, uh, jump after a couple seconds of, um, of the Iconic, and then just repeat that cycle over and over and over. Um, I'm not the greatest lantern power set player because, of course, I don't. I never liked how much power it took for the damage it did. You know, you could do much more, you know, you could do really high damage with, like, say, munitions, now nature and stuff like that without having to deal with the power issues. So if you ask why I don't play with Hall Light that often, it's definitely because I don't like the power cost. I feel like it should have been um, redu a, a reduction should have been given. I actually think this this ally should have, on top of the might bonuses that I give in DPS stance, it should have gave like a, a 2 or 3% power cost reduction included with it. So again, we're going to try that again. This time we're not going to use no allies or anything. We're not going to, I mean, we're not going to use no... um. No grandma, any of that type of stuff. He's going to come out. Again, y'all seen the damage that it did. You know, um, almost one mil. It's really quick. I could see it being used for hallway. But the next thing we're going to take a look at is how much, how this this addition of Mighty is going to look. Um, let's see if we can switch this over. We're we'll removing from being a combat ally, and we'll swap out. Let's see. We'll swap out Shazam, put him in. So let's actually see how that looks. We'll call out Robot Sidekick. Actually, let's not. For power, for power cause reasons, let's not use Robot Sidekick. So we're going to start off with the standard combo that I showed y'all earlier. Hand claps into grasping hand. I'm going to pull back on the grasping hand. Go into the heat vision and then just repeat that combo over and over and over. So as y'all can see that what I have on my hands is kind of like some debris look like floating around to some hard light constructs. And let's see for just testing purposes what our Midas standing at regular 222,000. Let's give it a couple seconds for that 30 seconds to um 30 second cooldown on the ally to go off. 
So as y'all can tell, using a combo ability increases might by 6% for 10 seconds. Cool down 30 seconds. It's nice and quick. It isn't like the Poison Ivy ally that has to ramp up. So again, we're going to use the combo. Bam, I have it on my hand. I go into my inventory. I mean, I go into my stats. And that's that's disgusting, y'all. I'm not even going to hold y'all. That is rather disgusting. Um, we're going to have to pull that one out again. That's That's disgusting. <laughs> So let's give it a second. That's what happens when you when you don't be on a test server often. I have psych I have stuff that I have to press on, dismiss on. It's for me to cycle around. So again, we're gonna pull it out again. And twenty um two hundred and forty one thousand now. So that is a nice chunk of mic that's being added. Going to a few rotations. And like I said, by far, man, I'm not no no pro hall light player. I actually don't really care too much for the power set. Keep that dot up. Like I said this, this damage is not like I said they got people far better at hard light than I ever was at this game. I, I just, I don't care for it. I used to like the old school hard light. I feel like it was, I, I like the quick clipping and the rotations and stuff, but everything they did with the power set after that, just, I'm just not a fan of it. So let's, let's use, um, let's use this item right here, get our supercharge back. So if I gotta be out of combat to use that. There we go. So now this is the group shield. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to our ally. We're going to switch over and we're going to let's let's see. See what we can do with this one right quick. So we're gonna come over to Shazam. Bout the Zeus, and then we're gonna come over to this and we're gonna switch this out right quick. So now we're gonna put in the Endoran Will. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come over. So let's see how this actually looks. So the shield doesn't look any different. It's the same, I guess, so it does look a little different. It, it just looked more ramped up. It's pulsing. It, I guess it does look different. It's nothing to write home about, nothing special about it too much. Um, I guess it, it probably does have some really good practical use when you're in some elite content. Personally, I wouldn't use it. They got far better options when you're controlling than, than that right there. But I know a, a lot of hard light mains are going to really enjoy the corpse combo bonus and i know some people are going to for you know like role playing go enjoy the hard light turret combat ability but as always i'm glad that y'all could join me today y'all be cool until the next video take care